I'm Susie Gilley, the Wildlife Education Coordinator with the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. We are here doing a workshop at Matthews State Forest in Galax, Virginia, where we partnered with the Department of Ed to pair a meaningful watershed educational experience with performance-based assessments. This workshop has been two and a half days. We have done a lot of different things that the teachers can take directly back to their classrooms to teach the children about the environment and our watersheds in Virginia. The teachers have gotten into the stream, found all kinds of aquatic organisms, several species of fish, salamanders, crayfish, and aquatic insects. So my name is Jessica Stye and I am from Chesterfield County at Robius Middle School and I'm a sixth grade science teacher. My name is Katie Wood. Um, I'm from Bedford County. I teach at Jefferson Forest High School and I'm a ninth grade biology teacher. It's just a really beneficial experience to yeah. get around with other science teachers that are passionate about getting kids outside yeah. and just hearing their different teaching philosophies and how they apply science in their classroom. I think. Yeah, I think that that's the best part about it is that we all chose to be here because we all like science and so it's really awesome to hear what other people are doing in their science classrooms and thinking about how you can apply that back at your own school and maybe get a program started. I think it's very important to bring science teachers to these creeks because uh, you know you read things in textbooks and, and, and on paper but to really understand something, you have to get you have to get in you have to get in that system. You have to get your feet wet per se, and actually see what's there. Uh, it makes it a lot more relatable when you start to talk to your students when you've actually experienced uh, those types of uh, um, habitats and, and seen those different types of animals. In sampling these streams, we use various devices. First, we're, we're devices where you can simply look along the creek and see what kind of animals are there. And then actually getting in the creek, we're using uh, different things like uh, view scopes that you can put down in the creek and actually see the fish and their natural environment and see their behavior. And then we went on to, uh, to techniques where you actually capture the fish. And one was we were using a seine net and dip nets, uh, collecting the, the fish and the crayfish and anything else that we'd find. And then we went on to using an a, a electroshocker, which is a device used by professional biologists to, to, to sample more uh, of the fish community. My name is Ann Peterson, and I am with the Virginia Department of Education, and I'm serving now as the science coordinator. Um, one initiative in Virginia is to have all students take part in environmental literacy. And part of environmental literacy is to be involved in something called meaningful watershed education experiences. And these experiences allow kids to get outside, to learn about their environment, to apply some of the skills they've learned in the science classroom, to their environment, collect data, and maybe try to solve some of the environmental issues that their community faces. There is actually a coalition that started, No Child Left Inside, and it was started because kids really don't go outside as much any year, anymore. They don't go outside at home, but sometimes they don't go outside of school either, as you know, there's pressure from the community for keeping safe environments, for making sure the kids know the standards, for making sure the kids are in their seats, we aren't having them outside and they don't know as much about their environment as we did many years ago. So by teaching them the science, teaching them the math, teaching them the basic principles of our environment, we hope that they can take that a step further and become environmentally literate citizens. My name is Mark Ruff. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Kale Elementary in Albemarle County. I've been working over the past several years just to get kids outside and uh, being here just sort of gave me some ideas about more things we do, um, some kick saning, and uh, I'd like, I mean, there were new ideas about doing collections that I can use and bring back to the classroom. So, uh, saving a bus trip, for sure. These workshops are important because it gives the teachers to experience real world scientific research that they can then duplicate back in their classrooms because we all learn better when we see the connections to the real world. As I see these teachers in their kindergarten through high school, 
see things that they've never seen before and, and their excitement, I can really see how they're going to take this excitement back to their children, to their students, and get them excited about the environment. It's important that they get their kids outside, whether it's on the schoolyard doing research or whether they're in a natural area such as one of the state parks or the state forest or a Department of Game and Inland Fisheries Wildlife Management area.